Good morning St Mary Abbott School, welcome to your Thursday clergy assembly. My name's Alice, I'm the curate at St Mary Abbott's Church and today we're going to be thinking about special days in our life. There might be many days in our lives that are special to us, maybe the day we start a new school, the day we move house, the day we celebrate a special birthday. And in the church there are some particularly special days where we celebrate by holding a service. I wonder if any of you have ever been to a baptism or a christening of a child. Perhaps you've been or been part of a confirmation service. I'm sure lots of you will have been to a wedding or marriage. And some of you might also have been to a funeral. These are special days where the church holds a service to show and mark an important change in somebody's life. And I want to tell you a little bit about a really special day that's coming up for me this week. So on Sunday, I'm going to be ordained as a deacon in the Church of England. And this is a special service where the bishop places her hands on my head and prays a special prayer asking God to equip me for the office and role of a deacon. Now you might not have heard of the word deacon before, you've probably heard of priest or vicar, but I'd like to show you a little bit about what the Church of England says a deacon should do, because these are some of the things that you're going to see me do whilst I'm here at St Mary Abbott's Church. So a deacon means somebody who serves, and in practice what that means is some of these things. So I'm involved in teaching in the church, of course praying, serving in lots of different practical ways. I'm asked to proclaim the gospel, that's the good news about Jesus Christ. I'm asked to seek out the poor and weak. I'm asked to preach, which means on a Sunday, uh, standing up and uh, talking to people about what the Bible says and what it means for us in our lives. I'll also hopefully be doing some baptisms. And of course, in order to do all of this, I need to study God's word, the Bible, to know what it says and help people to understand what it means. But I'm sure none of you have actually ever been to an ordination service, so I'd like to tell you a little bit about what happens. Remember that when we have a special day in our lives, we often do things a little bit differently as a way of showing how important that day is to us. We might wear something different, we might go somewhere different. We might receive gifts that help us to remember that day. And we might even change our name to show that an important change has happened in our life. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how those things are gonna happen for me. And the first thing is I'm gonna wear something different when I'm ordained. I'm gonna wear this, which is uh, sometimes called a dog collar. And it's a little bit like a uniform for me, just like if you're a nurse or if you're a policeman or a fireman or whatever your job is, often you might have a uniform so that people know who you are and what you do. I'm also going to travel somewhere really special for the ordination service. I'm going to travel to St Paul's Cathedral, which if you haven't been to, I hope you get the chance to soon. This is a picture of all the people last year who were ordained as a deacon standing on the steps of St Paul's Cathedral. And inside it's even more amazing. So inside you can see it's a huge, huge building with this beautiful dome, beautiful floor. It's just the most amazing place. And during the service, a few different things happen. But here in this picture, you can see our bishop. The man standing up is Bishop Graham. He's the Bishop of Kensington. And the lady sitting down, uh, that's Bishop Sarah, who's the Bishop of London. And the most important part of the service is when the bishop places their hand on your head and says this special prayer. Now, you can see this picture. This is in black and white because it's a really old picture. And it's really important because this is actually a picture that was taken in 1967 at the first ordination where women were allowed to be deacons in the Church of England. So it's really exciting uh, to think I'm standing in a long line of women who have served as deacons in God's church. 
And also I said something about gifts and I'm going to show you one of the gifts that I've already been given. And I've already been given it because I have to wear it on Sunday. And it's called a stole. As you can see, it's very long. It's made of uh, silk and satin and it's been embroidered at the bottom. You can see here with this beautiful um, cross. And it was a gift to me by uh, from the church where I used to serve, um, St Saviour's in Wendell Park. And it's a gift uh, to help me remember those people, um, their love and support and encouragement for me, and also the promises that I will make to serve God's people in this church. And finally, when someone gets married, they often change their surname. Uh, and when I get ordained, I'm going to change uh, my name too. So I'm going to be called Mother Alice, a bit like Mother Emma. So next time you see me, you can say, hi, Mother Alice. To finish this assembly, I've got a few questions for you to think about, about perhaps special days in your life, perhaps thoughts you've had about ordination, perhaps ideas about how having a service can help make a day really special for us. But as we close, I'd like to pray for us all. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us his peace. Amen.